Hi, I'm Lisa Ramirez, partner of U.S. Immigration Law Group. Happy to present today's immigration inspiration. So one of the most uh, common questions that we get is, why is my case taking so long? And sometimes I wish I had better answers, but here are some tips on what you can do. First off, Google USCIS case status. If you Google those three words, it'll take you to a page where you can enter the receipt number on your case, whether it's an I-130 petition, I-765 for a work permit, or an I-45 application to adjust status. Whatever pending application uh, you have with USCIS, you can enter that number and it'll give you the last action step um, about your case. You can also register for a My USCIS account and there it'll always give you updates on the step-by-step -step progress of your case. Anytime your case is transferred, a decision is made, a request for evidence has been uh, sent out so you can be on the lookout for that in the mail. Um, so you can check your case status online, you can register uh, for a My USCIS account. Second, you can also check in Google USCIS processing times. So with the processing times, it'll tell you based on the type of application, there's a drop down menu where you'll select the type of application. Um, it might have a secondary question depending on what category, right, that you're applying uh, for. And then thirdly, on the receipt notice that you've been um, issued in the bottom left-hand corner, it'll say in what service center, what office your case is currently pending. When you enter those few pieces of information, it'll basically tell you what the approximate uh, processing time, meaning that about 80% of the cases filed of that type in that category from that office, it will take X number of months. What you will find there is a realistic, up-to-date uh, processing time. So you know if it says something, you know, in crazy like 87 months, um, there's really not a whole lot you can do. But once um, that case is outside of the processing time posted, you can scroll a little bit further down on the screen and click on um, the information when you can submit an inquiry, right? A lot of people contact us or they will submit inquiries prematurely because their um, processing time has not, your case has not exceeded the, the processing time. So you want to make sure, check your case status, check the processing time, find out when you can set an inquiry. The bottom line is, is that the government is incredibly short staffed right now. There's incredible gap backlogs, both with the State Department at the U.S. embassies and uh, consulates abroad, and also here domestically at USCIS offices. There isn't a whole lot that you or I can do about this, but if you find yourself in a position that your case is outside of processing time and you're not getting a satisfactory response from USCIS, then we highly encourage you to read out to your congressional representative. Every congressional representative has access to a congressional liaison office with USCIS. They can get more information a lot easier and faster than even attorneys can get them. So um, the pandemic really changed everything. Cases that took six months are now taking, you know, over three years. Um, not a whole lot that we can do about that. Um, most applications are not eligible for processing time. But again, please um, be patient, but be um proactive. Make sure that your case is still being uh, adjudicated, that it is within processing time, and don't hesitate to reach out for help uh, with your congressional representative. Thanks.